Hey everybody, welcome back to the Penhut YouTube channel. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about another Coico. This is the Coico Brass Sport. Let me uh, go to that so you can see that. That is a really nice pen. Um, it's a very similar to the uh, the classic sport that we just talked about the other day, uh, except this one's brass. So you'll see that it's brass. Cool thing about this one is because it's brass, it's nice and heavy. It's very, very durable. Um, basically functions the same as the other one. It's going to post just like the other one right there. And it's got a nice um, finial there. You can kind of see the Koiko logo branding there, uh, which is pretty cool. And this one has the stainless steel uh, steel color. In it. I think the other ones I showed you had that goldenish kind of uh, color to them. These are really nice. Um, I use these all the time, uh, especially in my pants pockets. Um, just a simple, if you don't know what you want to, what you want to bring, um, if you want to bring something fancy or something basic, this is a great one because you know, it's going to stand to abuse. Um, I already know it's going to work really well and, um, it does patina. So I'm going to actually unscrew it here and you're going to see kind of not before and after, but you can see kind of like the, the regular stuff here underneath versus the stuff that's starting to patina over here and you can see that little black band and it's fine it adds uh it adds texture to it you know um i like it and then you can see the uh like fingerprint uh, oils will kind of um discolor it a little bit as you can see there um and then if you sting it up and stuff like that it will patina and show scratches and everything but i think that's part of what makes it nice obviously you can you can go and polish them and clean them up and stuff um, but a lot of people like these, um, as well because of their, because of brass, you know, um, you're not going to find too many brass pens that are, that are decent or, you know, they might try to do as an accent or do something, you know, a little unique. Um, this one I, I, I immediately saw at a, at a pen store out in Boston. Um, and I was drawn to it and I knew that I liked this style of pen, uh, from the, <clears throat> the classic sport that I had. So this was kind of, this was a lot more expensive. This is approaching the hundred dollar range, depending on where you're, where you're looking. Um, so it's not cheap. Um, there is the, um, uh, what's it called? The all, all sport or aluminum sport, uh, model out there. That's an aluminum versus brass. And that's a little bit cheaper than this one for sure. Um, uh, but I just like this. It was just unique. You know, like I said, you don't find a lot of brass pens out there. There are some, of course, um, and I like this one that it was nice and short. Um, same thing as the other one. It has the little, the, the line ridges uh, on each side so it doesn't roll off the counter. Um, the nibs are quite nice. Um, I don't know if you can see like the little patterns and, and design in there or not. Maybe a little bit. It's nice. Um, the only thing that I found with, uh, with the Quakos that I have is all the nibs um, that I've tried at least, um, need, a, need a little bit of, of, of finessing, um, either they're slightly skippy or the ink flow isn't, you know, exactly like the way they should be. And I've read about that online as well with, with, uh, with these pens, uh, particularly with the, uh, like a medium, uh, what is this one here? This one's a fine, which I like, um, j just like a tiny, tiny bit off of, you know, what it should be. Uh, if you have used other pens like pilots and other pens that are just, you know, right immediately and things like that. So that's one thing that I would note is, um, you know, not every single, uh, Kaweco nib is going to come a hundred percent, uh, you know, ready to go exactly hundred percent. And that's fine. You know, there are techniques, which I won't go over here, but there are techniques to smooth out the nibs a little bit and just, just basic, uh, prep prep stuff that you can do to, to, to get these rating, you know, as, as nice as you would like. But like I said, this is fantastic. Like I, it, it seems so, so unique to people that aren't into fountain pens. Um, it kind of stood out to me. And even though I don't use it every day, um, if I ever in a pinch and I'm like, you know what, I need to bring something with me. I'm not going to worry about breaking, but it's still a good quality pen. And it, it is a little pricey, but it's not crazy pricey. Um, it's a solid pen for sure. And, and has a really nice weight to it, which I think a lot of people will appreciate. So if you if you really like the um, classic sport and you like those really really lightweight pens, 
Um, just make a note that this is much heavier than that. Um, I would go far as saying it's more than twice as heavy as the uh, Classic Sport um, easily. So I, I don't know, just something about it. I like it. I think I mentioned in the other video that uh, Kaweco has been making these kind of pocket pens for years and years and years. So they, they, they know, they know how, to, how to do it. You know, they, they know what they're doing. Um, it's a proven uh, thing. Even the sections is a nice, nice area there, not too short, not too long. And uh, for most people, you'll be able to fit your fingers there nicely and everything sits back. So it's very well balanced for a small pen as well. And uh, yeah, so it takes the international uh, small ink cartridges, which is nice. So I, that's what I use on these guys. I think I have one in here. And if I don't, uh, let's see if I do, if I do. Oh, actually it does, it still has ink in it, so I might as well keep using this one. Um, I like to rotate my pens, and this one's one that I haven't used in a little bit, because I got some other pens that I prefer right now. Um, but yeah, you saw the ink wasn't stuck in there, it was still going, so I'll have to keep using this one. But definitely check it out, it is on the website. Um, check it out. Koiko Brass Sport. Thank you.